So here's a handy tip. If you're ever renting an apartment in Italy, something you really, really should do before you sign the contract, but at least before you move in, is go around the place and find all the electrical sockets and test them. See, North Americans <coughs> kind of take it for granted that everything works all the time. <coughs> Sorry. That is not the case in this country. And it makes you grateful. It teaches you to appreciate the little things, like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, all the electrical sockets in the place I'm renting are functional. I know it's unusual. Very unusual. Don't have a chance to check the radiators, which is the other issue. But a small solemnly assures me they all work. Oh, that one works too. Yeah, this is amazing. That's two. There's one back there. This will go. The TV. Nobody needs a TV. You do not need to watch Italian television. Trust me on that. Yes. Three for three. sitting room eventually. There's one. <laughs> so far so good. There's one. It's also very unusual to have more than two per room. So what is that, five? They all work? This is unheard of. I think that's it. Okay, that's probably it for the dining room. That's good. It's fine, plenty. This great big box. Looks pretty old. This is where you keep the firewood and the fireplace tools, and that's a grill. You can grill your your um, wild boar sausage, and you can cook on it as people do in Umbria very commonly when the power goes out, because it will. Let's try this on in the kitchen. Sorry about the noise. They're fixing the plumbing. It's a good sign. Oh, there's one. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. And there's more than one electrical socket in the kitchen. Amazing. For a place this old. Is that it? There's one in the microwave. Oh, yes. Three. Three in the kitchen. Absolutely incredible. Well, it's just looking like a win all around. I think this is going to be a nice little sitting room. Massimo doesn't seem to have a problem with me moving all the furniture around. So, believe me, we're going to get rid of the knickknacks. Good lord, so many knickknacks.